Cultural Center of the Philippines was my home from 1985 to 1999. During this time, I worked with Ballet Philippines, first as a modern dance teacher, then choreographer, then I became BP2 artistic director, then BP resident choreographer, chief choreographer, and finally as artistic director of the mother company. Ayo, ako si Agnes Luxing, isang dabawen niya, choreographer, dance teacher, and for the past 15 years, a tree hugger. And six, seven, eight, boom! Nasa Manila ako when I first experimented on neo-ethnic movement. It was in the 1990s that I choreographed most of my works. Neo-ethnic works that were considered trailblazing works like um, Encantada. Moriones. Igorot. La Revolución Filipina. Taong Talangka Hinilawod Papalian At marami pang iba to take over the artistic directorship ng Loxin Dance Workshop. Reportedly, the country's oldest dance school, which my mother, Carmen Dakudao Loxin, founded in 1947. Nung nasa Manila ako, I basically worked with professional dancers for 15 years. Pag uwi ko ng Davao, I had to adjust and reorient myself with teaching young dance students from age 3 to 16 to 63. It was a very relaxing change from the hectic pace of life in Manila and at CCP. How can it not be when part of the job entailed directing and choreographing fun-filled and family-oriented shows for the school's annual recitals, summer showcases, and Christmas programs? Sa mga palabas ng LDW, Siyempre, bida mga bata. So, kailangan masaya, maganda silang lahat. But, in between the LDW productions, I found myself wanting to do more. I needed to do more artistic works that would challenge my creative juices. It was then that I decided to come up with new works, at least once every year. This body of work now includes Sayaw Likhang Kyukok Sayaw Sabel Alay sa Puno series which featured Ugat, Unang Galaw followed by Dahon
puno. Sanga. Bulak. Bunga. Doon lumabas ang aking pagka-tree hugger. In 2019, we did elementos about the four elements naman of nature. Earth, wind, fire, and water. Other artists have come to refer to these choreographies as my new breed of masterworks. The year 2020 has thrown the world off kilter. COVID-19 continues to hit us all with severe blows to life in general. The arts have not been spared. And social distancing has rendered the theaters, rehearsal spaces, and studios as high-risk sites. They are all empty now. The internet and social media have now become the medium of expression. And it is no different for the arts. It is high time that we too find instruction in the use of innovative technology. We have to embrace fresh perspectives and new approaches. We have to develop new skills. We have to figure out a way to apply tools and different forms of media foreign to the techniques close to our hearts, foreign to the techniques that have stood the test of time. And only by combining the techniques of the past with a new medium of expression can we enable the old to lead us to new heights of creativity. With this in mind, allow me to share with you how the neo-ethnic works were created. I was given 20 minutes and I have to say that 20 minutes is not sufficient to explain such a broad topic as this. Each work kasi had different processes. Ano na lang? I will talk about two of my works. First, Igorot and then Babalyan. Kasi iba-iba talaga ang proseso ng kada sayaw. Una sa lahat, after I've zeroed in on what I was going to choreograph, hanap na kaagad ako ng reading materials. Pupunta na ako niya ng CCP library or my own personal collection of dance books. These readings will then guide me as to where I should go for immersion. Gaya ng for Igorot, Pumunta ako ng Bontok. For Moriones, pumunta ako ng Marinduque. For Bagobo, Sakalinan at Sibulan, Davao City. Davao del Sur. For Labao Dongon, sa time, 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 check ko libro ko ha. Ayun. I went to Kalino, Iloilo. And for Babalyan, uh, pumunta ako ng the senior moments kasi are ever increasing na bayag yun. But I do remember that I tried to absorb the atmosphere, the terrain, 
the environment of the place where the ritual had once been practiced. It may help a bit, however, to shed more light into how I choreograph if I share with you some of my go-to devices, which include transformation, which the dictionary describes as to make a thorough or dramatic change in form or appearance. <laughs> Transposition To transfer to a different place or context In dance composition, to transfer the movement to a different part of the body like from legs to the arms or from a low level to a high level or from small gestures to enlarged movements <laughs> And I stylize. To depict or treat in a mannered and unrealistic style to give something a distinctive design or appearance. Igorot. My knowledge of the Igorot dance was mostly taught to me by my sister Bing Loksin, who was a member of the Bayanihan Dance Company in 1964. So it is safe to say that the Bayanihan's version of the Igorot dance, as researched by Mami Urtula, was the source and inspiration of my Igorot. Of course, Alam natin na si Mami Urtula ay ang national artist of dance, Lucrecia Urtula. However, it was my trip to Bontok that eventually gave my igorot color, depth, dynamics, and daring. For example, the winding roads going to Bontok and the foot paths of the rice paddies in the village where we stayed in Bontok gave me floor patterns to follow in my dance. The day-to-day -day movements of community life allowed me to give a two-dimensional quality to my dance movements. The ease of how the people in the tribe traverse the sloping footpaths inspired me to express the dignity in the Igorot's everyday life. The calmness and serenity of life atop mountains gave my dance nuances to highlight the pride of being Igorot. In my choreography, I stylized the Igorot tribal movements. For example, the bounces became repetitive and exaggerated bending of knees. Kahig became accents of lifting the foot while on point. The arms that meant horns of the carabao or rice tops became enlarged and wide gestures. The 
sa lidsid became burays on points. The chugs became huge sliding and traveling steps, wide gestures for the male section. The wings ng lawing became wide gestures for the male section. Isasali ko ang babalian kasi hindi galaw ang aking transform sa sayaw kong ito. Ang props. Ang kagamitan ng babalian ay ang ginawa kong sayaw. But first, let me explain why my dance is called babalian and not babaylan. Actually, sa Palawan ko lang narinig yung pagtawag na babalian sa kanilang shaman. Iba-iba ang tawag sa shaman, pestes o manggagamot ng iba't ibang lugar sa Philippines. Most common is babaylan. Meron din balyan at meron din baylan. Babalyan ang tawag ng mga tagbanwa ng Palawan. So my dance is called babalyan. After all, I got my inspiration from the Pagdiwata Ritual of the Tagbanwa Tribe of Palawan. The Pagdiwata Ritual was a ceremony for healing, prayer, and or thanksgiving for harvest. The ceremony was led by the Babalyan who wore a specific attire to perform the ritual. The Babalyan was aided and protected by men who surrounded her as she would go into a trance to commute with the spirits to guide her in the healing or thanksgiving ceremony. The Babalyan would wear over her head a black veil to cover her face. Palaspas in both her hands. and bells around her waist. The men would have ready a piece of cloth or panyo to cover their faces when time comes that they must not look at the babalyan. Once everything is ready, the Pagdiwata ritual will start with the babalyan sitting on a duyan. Once I've fed my mind with information, images, tribal movements, etc., I then give my imagination free reign. Try it. Once imagination can be so limitless, so exciting, indulge in it, then come back to reality. One can never achieve perfection, but for me, the pursuit of perfection is what's most absorbing, most exciting. Ayan, gawa na ng sayaw. Once, nag-research na ako, nagbasa, nag-immersion, ready na ako mag-choreograph. And hopefully, sana ganun din kayo. So, tara, choreograph na tayo. Share ko lang na Igorot took a month to choreograph and years to cure. While Babalyan took four months to choreograph, but a year to cure. And now, manood tayo ng Babalyan at